if you're interested in tweaking computers, I'm sure by the plethora of videos that you've watched, you've seen game mode needs to be switched on for better performance. But how does it affect performance? That's exactly what I'll be testing today. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro, I'm testing game mode on versus game mode off. And obviously you find this in Windows settings, gaming, game mode, and you can switch it on and off. Um, this was a request from a, a viewer just a while back. I did do this video at the beginning of the year, but I've decided to retouch on certain of my older videos uh, just to make them a little bit more accurate by adding more games to the benchmark. So guys, uh, before I get to my results, if you are subscribed to the channel, please just make sure that little notification bell is selected. I don't ask you guys to, uh, to jump onto my Patreon and give me tips and all that stuff. All I require is your support. So please just make sure that that notification icon is selected. If you're on YouTube channel, um, I do have videos on how to unlock undervolting for 10 gen and newer. It's this full CPU optimization guide. For 9 gen and older, how to unlock uh, undervolting in any laptop with a lot of bias. I've got um, uh, throw stop tutorials, MSO after minute tutorials, and many more. Just go have a look on my home page. But you came here for those results. So guys, I tested game mode on versus game mode off. All my games are tested at medium settings with the exception of the newer games are so generally at the lower setting. Um, where FSR 2.0, 2.1 is available, use a quality setting. I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop, so if you've got an RTX card, uh, you'll probably experience that your results will be different. But generally on GTX, your results should be quite similar to mine. And then I did use the latest NVIDIA drive, or the second latest NVIDIA driver, 537.58, to do my benchmarks. So guys, with game mode on, when I add up my, my results, my 15 games, I got to a total average FPS of 1026. And then when I do the same for the 1% lows, when I add up all the 1% lows, my total over 15 games for 1% lows are 729. So when I uh, switched off game mode, via Windows settings, restarted my computer twice just to make sure that it, was, that it went into effect. When I add up all the average FPS, you can see my average FPS didn't really go down much. It's 1024, but where it does affect performance is the stability. Um, by switching game mode on, you're actually getting slightly more stability because when I add up all my average, uh, my 1% my lows over 15 games, you can see my 1% lows here are 708. So um, it's gone down by 21 FPS in terms of 1% lows with game mode off as opposed to game mode on. So guys, game mode does increase your average FPS. What it does do, is it does increase your 1% low. So it just makes your, your gaming experience a little bit more stable. It's not, it's not earth shattering, but you will gain about one to two uh, FPS in terms of 1% low. So it will make, you, make your games a lot more stable. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so guys it's almost the weekend it's almost time for the rugby world cup semi-finals happy days have a good one it's people like you cheers